When do you want me to put? When do you want me to flip it? Okay. Contact. Clear. Clearance delivery first, you go to ground. Return to meet next. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. IFR departures advise ground when you taxi. It's your IFR. Advise Republic Tower on initial contact. That you have information. X ray. X ray. Republic Airport information. X ray. Time 115323. Uh, good. Good. Sky condition. Ceiling 1200 overcast. Temperature 23, 2.20, altimeter 29 or 88. GPS runway 19 approach in use. Landing and departing runway 19. Can't let go of the brakes. I Notice to airmen. I relax a little Main bit. terminal yeah. ramp closed until September the 10th. 2200 Zulu. Crane operating to north northwest. 200 AGL flagged and lighted. ILS runway 14 out of marker. Return to maintenance. Rebecca runway hold short instructions. Rebecca runway assignments. IFR departures advise ground when you taxi. It's your IFR. Advise Republic Tower on initial contact. That you have information. X-ray. Okay. We got okay, it. Okay, we got X-ray. Ground is next. All you have to do is flip the button there on the top. Republic Airport information. Familiar with the
this 40s? No, not at all. There you I go, you already got it. Perfect. Yeah. I always set the next one. That's why it's easier just to push of a button. Alright, so we got X-ray, right? Okay, uh... No, I didn't get the winds, believe it or not, but I think they're out of the southwest. That's 220 and 8. 220, 220 and 8. Okay, yeah. so, uh... Okay, so we have a little... Little tailwind right now, right? Let's see, we're kind of facing southeast, so... Looks like we got, uh... Light quartering headwind from there, so always dive into the wind. It's not really relevant when you're moving, it's when you're actually taxiing. That's what's really important. Okay. Alright, let's uh, get the airplane moving a little bit, so I want you to put your hand on the throttle and add it slowly, slowly until it starts moving forward. You don't have to use the brakes, just use the rotor, it's pretty responsive. A little bit more throttle. Nice and easy. Slightly more. A little bit more. There you go. Now left rudder. Alright, okay. a little bit more throttle, keep it moving. A little bit more throttle. You don't have to worry much about the brakes. Okay. A little bit more throttle. There you go. See now if you if you keep the momentum. Let me show you some. Yeah. For a second, you got a dri getting drift too close to that airplane. Yeah, I see. That. I like the yellow line. I don't like to stay away from that yellow line. If you keep the momentum just like so, go ahead and put yourself on the rudder. You'll okay. be able to just use the rudder as necessary to maintain the center line. See? Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. Let's go on the 77927 Republic Ground. Good morning. Southwest bound on request, runway 19er. Taxi via Alpha Alpha 2, cross runway 14 Charlie. Got me a right on Alpha and a left on. Give me a left on Alpha and a right on Alpha 2. Okay. This is a very common tendency to over control on the rudder and. And the easiest way to avoid it is stay with me on the rudder for a second. Yeah. You feel what I'm doing with the rudder? Just put your feet on the rudder. Yeah, yeah. Instead of going, whoa, 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 what I'm doing is basically dancing those pedals to maintain the yellow line right between my feet. And I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain that center line. Think you can do it? Uh, let's give it a shot. Very, very sensitive, you know, responsive, so. But it's a fun bird to fly. Yeah, it, it seems that way. <laughs> it's nothing you've ever flown before. I feel like I'm fly uh, flying a fighter plane. No, but I feel very far away from the control stick. Sorry, I had to take my uh, second sip of the day. Um, it's because the control stick is full forward. So, during flight, it'll never be full forward. It's usually neutral. Uh, you're doing a wonderful job here. Very nice. We're going to make a right on Alpha 2. Should I slow down with this airplane? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of slow down. There you go. Full right rudder. There you go. And then be ready. Very nice. We're going to stop here before the runway. Uh, he said cross runway 1 for the Charlie, so okay, that's what I'm okay. going to do. I'm just going to look right. I'm going to look left. And I don't see no aircraft. And I'm going to cross the runway. So far, so good. Yeah, so far. This is basically this is basically how we taxi a tail dragger. It's very, very sensitive, and if you get the feel for it, you can make a taxi like any other airplane. I notice when I push in the rudder pedals, uh, my heel strikes the uh, the heel brakes. Is that that uh, quite uh, common? The best way is take your heels outward. Okay. This way, 
you don't even touch the pedals on the brake. Because you don't really need to. Having fun yet? Oh yeah, I'm loving it. This is, uh... Yeah, you know, it's weird. If you love a Luscom, you just love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm kind of... I, if no. you hate it, you just hate it. There's nothing in the middle. <laughs> I just, yeah, I really love everything about this airplane. The sounds, the, the smell, the feel. I feel like I'm really flying machine. That's yeah. how they did it back in the 30s when, uh, you know, Don Luscom designed this airplane. Okay, we're going to... That's what he had in his mind. I'm going to help you a little bit for the brakes. We're going to go to the departure in because it's nice and quiet today. We're going to monitor the tower from the whole short line. What I like to do is go a little bit to the left and then swing a U-turn to the right and face the opposite direction so we can see oncoming traffic. So let's go ahead and push full right rudder. All the way, a little bit more throttle, and full right rudder, all right, it's going to swing a little bit more, perfect, right there, I like this angle, just like that. All right, next step for us today is going to be the run-up. So, brake is set, just hold your brakes, fuel selector, verify it's on, take a look, very nice. Trip for takeoff, you see right here? Oh, it's on the left, okay. It's supposed to, yeah. Clockwise. There you go. Trim for takeoff. This is your trim wheel. It's a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to get used to it, but you know. How do you, after, how do you, how do you tell when it's neutral? It's zero is here. You see that mark here? Oh, the little white mark. Yeah, that's that's zero right there. You know what? Let me. Maybe you should. Uh, see if I can fix it for you. How does it move? It just keeps spinning and moves. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah. Let me put a zero in here so you see. There you go. It's basically, uh, okay, I got it to half inch. Yeah. Alright. It's a little bit hard to get used to it, but when you get to the field, piece of cake. Flight control check. What I want you to do is move the stick forward, and let's look at the elevator and left. L line goes up, elevator up, and beautiful. I'm looking at the elevator, and let's do a rudder. The rudder? Excellent. Flight controls are checked and correct. Instruments. Oil temperature is coming up and oil pressure is right where it's supposed to be. Is there something underneath this behind? Oh, uh, there's another compass, but I use this compass. Okay. When I use the GPS, I use this compass, so. Primer is in the lock. Okay. This is your throttle and the RPM gauge. It's opposite, so bring it up to 1500. Okay, max check. Drop one down, check for drop. Bring it back up. Drop the other down, check for drop. Bring it back up. Engine instruments, looking good, looking good. Carburetor heat test, pull it out. There's your slight drop. And throttle to idle. Carburetor heat off. And run up check complete. Free takeoff, fuel selector is on, carburetor heat is off. Doors and windows, lock closed, transponders on, wind direction, let's see, we got wind sock right there. As you take off, you're going to have a slight right crosswind. Okay. Okay, so crosswind from the right as you take off. Okay, now we have to switch over the tower. I already put us on the tower frequency from the whole short line, yeah. Time we got for takeoff at 8.41. Brake release and the board plan ready. With this airplane, if you have an engine failure and take off, you're more than likely going to have plenty of runway in front of you. But if it's after takeoff with no sufficient runway, we're going to just make shallow turns to avoid obstacles and land straight ahead. With sufficient altitude, we're going to attempt to come back around and land on any of the crossing runways. Any questions? Uh, should I pay attention to the SP indicator? What speeds are you using? Okay, takeoff. We're looking for a rotation of 60 and VY of 72. Okay? Okay, uh, now do, when the tail comes up, do you 
generally keep the airplane level or slightly nose down at it? What I like to do on the normal takeoff is stick forward. Okay. Dance those pedals, maintain directional control, stick tail behind. Forward, not, not stick back. Stick like forward. Okay. Stick forward. Maintain directional controls. Tail behind. Okay. Constantly keep that tail. Don't let it swing. Okay. Eventually, when the tail rises, it's going to be a P-factor left turn tendency. The airplane is going to wave to the left and dissipate that with right rudder. Maintain coordinated flight with right rudder. Hold the pitch attitude. And around 60, you can add a little bit of back pressure, and it'll just come off the ground very nicely. Okay, we're set to go. All right, ready? All right. Final's clear. Welcome 77927 from a tower, southwest approved, you say to take off from a 197. All right. Welcome 927, roger, on course approved. Looks like some action here with the old cars, huh? Okay, runway clear to the left. Nice and easy. When you add throttle, add it very slow, but don't wait too long. Within three to five seconds, you want to have full throttle. All right, I'm watching you. I'm with you on the controls. No brakes at all, just rotors. Very nice, full throttle, beautiful. Stick forward, right rudder. Hold that pitch attitude. Right rudder, hold that pitch attitude. Right there, beautiful, hold it. Wait for the speed to build up. Off she goes, beautiful job. If it feels nose heavy, you may have to trim, but you don't have to do it now, you can just focus on the takeoff. Reduce the pitch just a little bit, very nice. And you can feel how the trim work by easing the control pressures. So if I turn it uh, this way, it's uh, nose up? Nose up is like that. Okay, towards you, okay. Just lower the pitch a little bit, there you go. I like that pitch attitude, much better. Very nice. Got the crab in there, okay. Very nice job, beautiful job. Climb check, oil pressure is good, 80 miles an hour is good, full throttle is good, instruments are good, and flight plan, we don't have to open, we're staying local. Climb check's complete. So what is the, uh, uh, we're going straight out, or what are we doing? Uh, go straight out, standard departure out of here is uh, over to sunrise, and left turn on course. Let go of the control, let's see. It's still a little yeah, bit yeah, nose yeah. heavy. Let's see if I can fix it for you. Let go a little bit. It's still, yeah, a little bit more nose. All right, let go a little bit now. Relax. There you go, now you're good. All right, coming up on the southern state, next one will be sunrise. We can turn to the southeast. Now, uh, the ceiling's about 1,200, so, you know, we'll try to be at 1,000, you know, right below the clouds. You could stay uh, at 700. What? You could stay at 700. Nah, it's okay. It's up to you. All right. Now... You're not going to put on your rotating beacons to kind of, uh... Yeah, you can put it on. Your yeah, visibility is kind of crappy. Yeah, you can put it on. Um, what, um... What we could do is go over and do takeoffs and landings, or stay local here and, you know, do a little bit of uh, getting comfortable for the airplane. So it's up to you. Well, we could do some air work, and then we could, uh... Do some touch and goes on okay. the uh, landings, yeah. Okay. Let's level off here. Looks like it's much lower than I anticipated. So let's go down to 700 feet. Throttle back. This one will cruise at about 1,900 RPM very nicely. Give you about 80 miles an hour. Now let's come back down. Maybe. 
Tell you what, this is too low. Let's let's go down to the bay and then go over to Bayport. Over there, it's uh, 700 feet on the uh, pattern, so we can easily not worry about. We'll stay in class golf, so all we need is one mile visibility clear clouds down there, so. All right, this is Sunrise. Let's go ahead and make a left and head towards Captry Bridge. Sunrise is behind us? Yep, we just passed it. Okay. And let's come down to about 600 or so. All right, it's a little bit too steep. Let's go back to the right. More like a easterly heading now. Let's go back to the right. And look for Captry. You see Captry Bridge over there? Uh, more like a 20 to 30 degrees to the right. Are we headed for the capture? Yeah, you'll see it. Just turn 20 to 30 degrees. I'll show you on the on the uh, screen here. Okay, right here, this is capture, and this is where we are. So it's like right around here. There you go. That's a perfect heading. If you can hold that heading about 110, that's perfect. How she feels? Pretty good? Very nice. Very light. Feels very light. Yeah. Not light, but it feels nice and uh, responsive. What was the, uh, yeah. what was the last equipment you flew? Uh, I think I flew, uh, I'm not quite sure, I think it was a Skyhawk. Skyhawk? Okay. Alright. You can just go over towards that bay over there. But let me check the weather. As we're clearing Delta, I'm going to check the weather and nicely to see if it's as good as Republic. I feel like Lindenburg. That's how it all started, man. That's how it all started. This is such a fun airplane, man. I was, uh with the airlines and then one of my buddies uh, took me for a little spin on this and I was like this is my day off fun right there much better than cruising at 37,000 feet with the autopilot on yeah well things happen pretty <laughs> <laughs> Republic Tower helicopter 624 Kilo alright we're just clearing uh, Delta so we're gonna go ahead and check it out 6 Zulu weather wind 2206 visibility 10 sky condition 1000 foot overcast Capture 23, 2 2.20, altimeter 2985. High left runway 24, approaching use, landing in the party, runway 24. Nurse Diamond, taxiway echo closed, south of runway 15 right, 33 left. Runway 10 to 8 closed, level 4. Uh, I capture right there, perfect target. Tower 583 foot MSL, 3.7 miles west, northwest of the field, right to the service. Use caution, personnel and equipment adjacent to no runways and taxiways. All the parts just kind of clear slowly, 1 to 1.85, advised with uniform. Alright, I give you a target of uh, oh, uh, arena. Inflation uniform 1156 Zulu weather. Wind 2206, visibility 10, sky condition 1000 foot over cast. Okay, winds from Capture the south. 2, 3, 2 altimeter 2985. I gave you a target of the marina here on the GPS, which is basically the entry into uh, Bayport. Have you ever flown in and out of Bayport? Uh, I flew, I think the list on my BFR I flew in there. Oh, okay. There's a, there's a got special... Some, got some low scud coming in now. What's that? Got some low scud, lower than... Uh, yeah, the scatter clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good here. I think we're good. But this is your target, the marina. You enter over the marina. For the right now wind runway 1-8. And you're going to... Follow the river. The river is going to split to the right. You follow the river. That will put you right on the downwind. And where Sunrise is, just north of Bayport, you can't go over that because that's the exclusion, which is right here. I'll show you when we get a little... All right, so we're landing to the south. Landing Bayport. to the south, yeah. Okay. Winds are 220. So it's a left downwind for... It's going to be a right downwind right for 1-8. Down okay, yeah, Bayport 1-8. Okay. All right, let's see if you can get comfortable with slow flight. What I want you to do is slow the airplane down a little bit. Let's throttle back to about 1,600, trying to maintain 800 feet. I want to see if you're comfortable flying it slow. Very nice. Right around 60 miles an hour, that's your target. And a little bit.
hit one to the right. Marina is a bit off the coastline. Very nice. Feel how mushy the controls are? It's like barely responsive, you know? That's what's going to happen when you're coming in for a landing. It's not going to be as responsive as it is during cruise flight. So anticipate that as we're coming in. So let's go ahead and recover the cruise. Throttle to 20. And what, is, what is your typical uh, final approach speed? Okay, final approach speed I like to maintain at 70 and short final 60. Alright, so the downwind I like to have 90. On the base I like to have 80. And then slow down to 70 from base to final. From 80 to 70 on base to final. What class of airspace are we in right now? Uh, I would say Class C. C is in Charlie? Oh, no, well, we're underneath uh, Class C. That's right. So we're, we're really in Class C, right? Or does it go down to the floor? Echo or, uh, or Golf? Echo, wait, no, actually Echo. Golf. Yeah, yeah, we're in, because uh, we're below 1,200 feet. Yeah, below 1,200 here, you're at Golf, yep. Well, well, it could be 7 or 12, depending on... Uh, depending on the chart. Right, so 7 would be if it was an instrument corridor, but so we're below 12 then. Yep. So what's the minimum visibility here? Uh, one, mile, one, one mile clear class, yeah. yeah. One mile clear class, we're good, yeah. Uh, this aircraft does not require a medical. I mean, as long as you have a valid driver's license. Yeah, I, have, I have a second class medical. Oh, you got your medical? Excellent. Yeah, I did that yesterday. Oh, excellent, yeah. Yeah, it was certified, you know, back in the days below 1320, which is... But you know what, even though it's LSA, you still need uh, the training. I mean, just because the aircraft is light, it means that you, you throw all the experience out the window. I well, I, I highly recommend, you know, um, getting uh, some instructor training on the aircraft you have intent, intention to fly. It's going to make you much safer, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to risk it. So, you know, highly recommend it, but people... People do weird stuff. Like this guy that owned this aircraft, he um, he just bought it and he figured, eh, I can fly it, hell I can fly it. And on the first flight he ground looped it. <laughs> so it, it feels like an airplane, right? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's not always, yeah, I can fly it. It's, it's you know, you gotta, you gotta know what you're doing. Especially on this one, because it's so sensitive. But I can tell you, if you can fly this, you can fly anything. Just a combination of a big wingspan, narrow landing gear, short aircraft, a big rudder, it's just <laughs> a ground loop ready to happen. This is Hexshire State Park, I believe. Ah, uh, you know, you got me on that. Let me see. Great River is what I see here. Okay. Yeah, right there is Great River. And Oakdale is right That's there after that marina. Uh, 152 down with originally from the York? Originally from the York? No, I'm Italian born. Oh, okay. Are you well, Italian also? No, no, the name sounds Italian, but... You're where? You I've been to... Um, my father was born in Turkey, which is not far from Italy, I guess. Okay, you know, all right. It's kind of European. But, I mean, it sounds Italian. It sounds Greek, too. That's what I heard. Yeah, I, thought, I thought you were Greek at first. Uh, yeah. How did you meet Roy? Boys in my squadron. I'm the uh, squadron commander. Oh, good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, That's a nice lip. Where is the civil airport? Uh, we meet at Kennedy Airport. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know Shlomo? Yeah, yeah. I know Shlomo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he flies this airplane a lot. Yeah. Flies it a lot. He likes this airplane. It's just, yeah, you know, he likes, uh, he's, he's a stick and rudder guy. Oh, yeah. He's got more tail of time than I do. Not as much tailwind on this aircraft, but you know, he's, he's high tail of time, definitely. That's right, yeah, that's what it says. Now 172, base, long with All right, let me make a radio for the traffic in the vicinity. Um, I do have a portable TCAS, so you feel free to 
look at it. If there's nothing on the screen, there's nothing out there. Unless there's an ultralight with no transponder, so we're not going to pick them up. we got to look visually. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Yep. I'm going to make a phone call. So we're going to shoot for the marina, and then you're going to make a left on the marina, and then follow the river. Now this aircraft does not have flap, so anticipate a beam here touchdown zone. I want to have 1500 RPM. If you don't reduce the throttle to 15, a beam here touchdown zone, you're going to end up being too high. Being too high on this aircraft with no flaps, you know, is basically a go around because, you know, it's hard to slow down and come down at the same time without flaps. Okay, that looks like a... That's one marina. Is, yep. that, the, is that the bigger one, or... Uh, nope, that's the marina right there. Go ahead, point the aircraft right there. Now we gotta go below the exclusion. The exclusion is about 700. I like to kind of come down to about 500 feet. That's my uh, target altitude. Now, are they also defaulting? Try not to cut into isolate. You see, you already kind of try to stay outside of this area because we're going to actually get in trouble. See the exclusion here? Okay. Yeah, we got to go straight to the marina and then cut off that opening right there. We can go down to about 500 feet now. Good. Excellent. See that opening right, those two little yeah. lines? That's the opening right there. That's why I like to come in. Excellent. Alrighty then, let's do it. Let me, let me get out of the explosion area just to be on the safe side. All right, that's all I'm here. I'm watching. So you are you American born or are you a foreign? Uh, born in Israel, Tel Aviv. We can go in. Yeah, we're good. Plenty of room now. As long as you get in that corner here, you're good. Throttle to about 1900 on the downwind. 1900 will be 90 miles an hour on the downwind. Coming in for 3-6, you're going to actually fly over that big house. But that's a different procedure. Yeah, well, let's put this here. Ah, let's okay. take that away. Absolutely. Checklist. All right, let's do a pre-landing check. Seat belts are on on the right. Fuel selector is on. Trim as required. Runway and pattern. We're using runway 1-8 and a right traffic pattern. The wind's going to be from 220, so we're going to have a right crosswind, all right? On the takeoff or go around, it's going to be straight out to the south. Okay. Relating check complete. Okay, this is the river. You see the river? Yeah. All you have to do is follow the river. Maybe a little bit more throttle, a little bit low. 500 feet right over the river. Just to the right the river? Or yep, okay. that's the river. And the river is going to split to the left and to the right. Follow the right side. A lot of that for sure, isn't it, in this airplane? Ah, way too much. Anytime you move the stick, you gotta be anticipating rudder <laughs> right on it, so. Okay, you can actually see the grass strip right there. You see if you look to the right? Oh, yeah. Okay, we look like we're approaching the down one. That's the down one. Alright, follow the river. It looks like the wind's from the left, so it's going to push you towards the field, so you got to crab to the left. See the river? That's your river, just follow it. Excellent. Alright, 
The wind sock is exactly what we anticipated. We're going to have right quartering headwind. Try to keep it from that river, keep it a little bit wider because there's a big tendency to overshoot that final. Alright, this is pretty much your beam point, so let's throttle back to 1500 and start coming down. And keep it wide, because you're looking very tight. Keep coming down, keep coming down. 1500, and keep coming down. Alright, you're looking very tight, so I would highly recommend a nice tight turn to final. Throttle all the way to idle, and lower the nose, I'm helping you a little bit. Nice and tight. Throttle all the way to idle. I have to forward slip it. Okay, so it's your airplane then. Alright. Yeah, this all flaps you were very high. Alright, let's keep coming down and land the plane. Keep coming down. Right rudder. Hold it. Hold it. Very nice. Hold it there. Let it settle in there. Try not to oscillate. Right rudder, left rudder. I'm helping you just a little bit. Very nice. Let the tail sink in. And the grass is very forgiving. It's going to just slow you down by itself. You'll see. Just stay on the rudder. Not too bad for the first shot. What do you think? I don't know. I think you landed the aircraft. <laughs> I was, you know, I didn't want you to be too high. So now you anticipate it better for the second one. You know exactly what to expect. All right. We're going to make a right over there at the end. You gotta keep it really, really wide. You notice uh, how yeah, I noticed that. You notice I didn't want to fly over those homes either, especially on Saturday morning. Uh, uh, there, now, there, now, now, now you have a battery on the set, please. Yeah, make a right, make a okay, right, make a right. Yeah, yeah, make oh, a right. Yeah, okay. There's the opening right there. Full right, full right. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Now the grass will require more throttle, so keep it moving. So where do we taxi? We're gonna go straight towards the car, and then we're gonna make a right on the taxiway for another takeoff. Okay. As your taxiway, you see it to the right? Got it. Yeah, as your taxiway. You know pretty much what to expect. So what I'm gonna do is just let you handle the airplane by yourself and tell you what has to be done and if I see that you don't correct for it I'm going to actually that's, that's you know, apply more control uh, feel so so far you're doing good alright we're going to line ourselves up for another takeoff at this point and what I'm going to do is do a free takeoff checklist feel selector is on doors and windows are closed trim that for takeoff. And pre takeoff checklist is complete. Love this airport. Well, you see, these houses were built. After the whole, the airport was here, so but now they're now they're complaining. Uh, uh, they can't, you can't complain. I mean, you know there's an airport here. Don't complain. It's not that we built an airport right on top of your house and we start changing your lifestyle. You bought this property when this was here, so you know there's going to be. Well, airports. they should have put something in their uh, deeds. You know, you, you you live here. Don't complain about the airport. <laughs> you know, um, it, it's it's a courtesy. Now, do we, now do we continue? We're gonna, we're gonna make a right, cross the runway. And then taxi on the other side. Uh, how cross, do you, how do you, oh, I see. Cross the oh, runway all the way to the yeah. hangar. And I'll make a courtesy call that we're crossing. Start the runway. Oh, straight ahead, you oh. see the cone? Got it. Make a left after the cone. You know, you can just take the runway. It's probably faster. Uh, it's up to you. It's totally okay. up to you. It's okay. It's okay. You know, there could be an emergency. So. It's uh, totally up to you. There's nobody here today. You got the whole airport. This is actually rush hour. 
Are you kidding? There's nobody flying, so I guess the weather... <laughs> this is actually rush hour today. <laughs> It's pretty close to the uh, the trees. Tree line, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna make another radio call, and off we go. Uh, gonna make a left after the tall grass. That's your little taxiway. Take it all the way to the trees. Back your right. There's hardly any wind. You can kind of relax the, okay. the you stick. Yeah, there's not much wind. Take it all the way to the trees and sling it. And we're going to take off the opposite direction. Alright, keep it moving. Full throttle now within 3-5 seconds. Stick forward. I'm going to let you do the whole thing now. The grass is very forgiving, so you're going to do much better. Stick forward. Right runner. Stick forward. Alright. There you go. Hold that pitch attitude. Right runner. Very nice. Just hold that pitch attitude. She's going to come along. Oops. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Staying ground effect a little bit below the tree line. It's making it safer. It's All very right. uh, heavy on the controls. Alright. Yeah. That nose down a little bit, 72. And turn into the wind. Right rudder. And turn into the wind. There you go. Perfect. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Wow, it doesn't look like we have much clearance. Well, if you're taking off in a slip, your performance is not as good. So you always look at the ball and step on the ball. That ball is lots of see because of reflection on it. Yeah. See, right now you're uncoordinated. Step yeah. on the ball. There you go, and left stick, very nice.